Hello mga baby, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel, Bang Libak na ta! <laughs> Hello mga kabibig! Welcome back sa ating bagong YouTube channel. Ito ang pinakamaingay nga YouTuber sa balat ng YouTube. Ako si kabibig! Maglebak-lebak na ta with evidence. Nako mga kabibig, meron akong nabasa sa Twitter. Isa itong interesting article na depende na sa inyo kung ito ba ay pwedeng mamulat o magbibigay sa iyo ng open eyes of rea rea realization. <laughs> Hirap talaga mag-pronounce. Realization na nangyari pala ito six years ago. Ay, tungkol ito kay mama. Mama, len, len. Nako. Bakit ngayon na ito lumabas? Eh, oo, oh, ito o. Oh. This was six years ago. Ang kwento ay tungkol sa isang campaign donor ni Lenny Robredo. May sinulat na open letter. Parang galit na galit ang isang campaign donor. I feel so cheated by you because I defended you to a lot of people. This was six years ago. Baka sa bago ngayon, baka na mga campaign donor din na na same emotions, same nararamdaman pero hindi sila masyadong vocal sa kailang nararamdaman. Pero ito, oh my goodness. Pasahin natin mga kabibig, ha? Ito yung, ano niya, ito yung uh, post niya. Pero, nung tininan ko ito, nawala na, parang dinalit na. Pero may naka-screenshot. May nakapagsulat tungkol dito. Sabi niya, Dear VP Lenny, I guess you don't read your private messages. Hello? I can't blame you since you probably get hundreds a day. And nowadays, a lot of hate messages I presume. But I feel I must speak up. Being one of your campaign donors, and I used to be one of your avid supporters, underline used to be. You are not the person I thought you could be. You have shown so much promise before, down to earth and smart and uses her common sense. You shown during the campaign with your wit and sensible solutions. Unfortunately, I don't see them now, ma'am. I just see a person who is so misguided, so short-sighted, that every time you make a statement, I find myself making excuses for you, blaming, blaming it on the people that surround yourself with. But the more you talk, the more I think that you may not be ready for such big role after all. I could have been wrong telling doctors you will be great because you just keep on disappointing. I don't know who eggs you on. Clearly, he or she doesn't have your best interest at heart because you just keep on doing things that just makes no sense at all. Ay, grabe naman itong open letter na to. Parang ang sakit-sakit, parang tinutusok-tusok, sinasaksak ang puso ni Mama Lenle. Pero depende na rin kung bina binasa ba ito ni Mama Lenle. Because this was six years ago. And pwede din itong nangyari. ba? What darkness are we in, may I ask? I don't feel it. I honestly feel for the first time the wrong things are being right by this government. At least, I feel there is a huge effort of doing things right. In fact, the democracy you claim to be in danger is much more alive even than before. That it's being abused by people 
by using it to spread more hate and lies. And you of all people is on top of the list of spreading hate. Your statements ignite hate. Not one moment did you even attempt to be rational nor try to unite the country. You defend a tainted senator who obviously broke so many laws by her own admission. And yet, you def your defense for her is that there was not even one gram of shabu that was found on her? I hope you realize how stupid that sounded. You deny leading any destabilization. Mom, every time you open your mouth, that's what you do. You destabilize. Instead of calling out to calm people, you incite uproar. Ay, nangyayari pa ba ngayon yan ni Mama Lenlen? Depende na kung how you able to interpret her moves, her ways. Diba? Depende na sa inyo mga kabibig. Your statement to the UN is irresponsible. It may sound cliche now, but you are goddamn irresponsible and unpatriotic. Unpatriotic. So, hindi makabansa. Depende na sa inyo kung totoo ba ito. Unpatriotic daw si Mama Lenle. Mm, depende na. You should be ashamed of what you did because you exposed to the world how little you know of being a Filipino. What your real agenda is nothing more than to put down a country, 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 trying to uplift itself because status quo is unacceptable. You should not air gossip. You do not argue on hearsay. You have facts. File a case. You have evidence. File a case. What did Duterte even do to you except say he prefers BBM as VP? He hurt your ego. And you retaliate like a scorned GF or girlfriend. <laughs> Where are we in being a bigger person? To give him credit, he gave you opportunities to unite the country with him. And yet, your response, I will continue to dissent. He invited you to the Lee Dock and posed that you have to say, I was expecting to, to be disinvited. Really? Isn't being gracious part of your person anymore? Every day you disappoint me. I feel so cheated by you because I defended you to a lot of people and even turned votes in your favor. But you just wasted them. You wasted my hard-earned money. Stop spreading hate. Stop inciting dissent. The only way for you to survive, this is to keep quiet. You killed your chances of further serving your country because you just couldn't wing it. If you truly, truly believe the president is criminal, then file a case and stop hiding behind just being a dissenting voice. You are not just a voice. You are the duly elected vice president of the Philippines. This was the time na vice president Selene Robredo. Stop acting as if you just got it by sheer luck. Act like a leader you promised to be. Help unite the country or else get out. We're tired of your unprofessional politicking and get rid of your obvious, obviously inexperienced stuff. They are just putting you down more. Jeez, at this rate, you are making BBM look good. God help us with that. Oh, ito ha, ito yung pino sa isang netizen na ang pangalan niya ay si Trexy Co, a self-confessed avid supporter and campaign turner of Lenny Robredo. This is the time we're in. He wrote an open letter addressed the vice president expressing her remorse 
while telling Robredo that you and video was the last straw. Aha. Uh -huh. Ito yung you an ano ni Trexico. So I think yung post sa Trexico parang dinalit na sa Facebook. So wala na hindi na siya available para mabasa. But I do hope ma I think maraming people na kabasa nito. Pero it's an how do you go an open letter to everybody. So we have the right to read this one and it's up to you kung totoo ba yung mga sinasabi ni Trexico. Kung totoo ba itong mga na sa sulat dito, yung pag-describe niya kay Lenny Robredo. And even though, may mga idea din kayo, may mga nakikita din kayo, na, may naoobserbahan din kayo na may mga kamalian din si uh, Lenny Robredo, attorney Lenny Robredo. Pero let's all see the other way around naman po. Baka may mga positibo din siyang nagawa sa bansa natin. Baka sobra din tayong galit, sobra din tayong, sobra din nating ayaw si Lenny. Kaya nakalimutan din natin na meron din siyang konting contribution sa Pilipinas. So, let's stop uh, ano ko one, hating each other. And I do hope Lenny Robredo naman, I know na he is trying her best. Her. She is trying her best na maiangat yung angat buhay and at the same time um, helping the government. Sana sana naman para ma-achieve natin yung unity na talagang gusto ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa ating lahat. Disclaimer lang ha, this was written six years ago and I don't, don't know if the message from the le letter is still applicable, still observable, or it's still na ganun pa rin ang ginagawa niya. I do hope hindi naman. I do, I do hope hindi naman. And Yun lang mga kabibigang ating latest Libak Libak for today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye everyone. See you next time.